Good evening from the UW Art Museum. Um, I would like to introduce myself. I am Nicole Crawford and I am the director and chief curator here. Um, welcome to the 20th annual Happy Holidays and the first virtual Happy Holidays. Um, I'm going to start by reading the land acknowledgments. So we collectively acknowledge that the University of Wyoming occupies the ancestral and traditional lands of the Cheyenne, Arapaho, Crow, and Shoshone indigenous peoples, along with other native tribes, who call the Great Basin and the Rocky Mountain region home. We recognize, support, and advocate alongside indigenous individuals and communities who live there now, and with those forcibly removed from their homelands. So tonight we are Usually we have about 2,000 people who come to this event um, over three days, um, but because we value the health and safety of our visitors, we are virtual this year. Um, but we're going to bring some new twists to this, to this event this year. So our theme this year is Global Holidays. We're celebrating and honoring cross-cultural traditions and the diversity of our community, state, and country. Um, so there will be multiple aspects to this event this year. Uh, tonight, we're going to start with the lighting of the president's tree. Um, we're going to feature artwork from the schools in Albany County, um, including our rural schools uh, from students from all levels. And thank you to the students for all your hard work this year that you've done to be creative. And thank you to all of our teachers for supporting our students um, to be creative during these times. Um, we also have a special collaboration with UW England Global Engagement Office um, with our sister province in China, Shaanxi. Um, we have artwork from the UW Lab School and Pioneer Park Elementary in China. Um, we'll have several musical and dance performances by local groups. And we also have an online auction that's gonna benefit our local arts programs. So if you go to our Facebook page, um, you can bid on some handmade ornaments, um, and there's some very cool ones there, so check that out. Um, and also, the President's Tree will be here until December 18th, until noon, so come on by. We are open, and take your picture in front of the tree. So tonight, I am honored to introduce um, the new president of our university. Um, Dr. Seidel comes to us from Illinois, and he's our 28th president, which coincides sides with our event because this is the 28th um, year we've been doing this event. Um, so I really want to welcome you and we're honored to have you here and kick off our festivi festivities tonight. So um, welcome Dr. Saida. Thanks Nicole. I'd like to start by welcoming those of you who are here online, and I wish if you were here in person, I wish we could have a, an event here in person, but it's certainly nice to have you with us online. And I'd like to wish everyone a happy holiday. Uh, it's been a, a long, long year that I think we can celebrate, looking forward to the, the coming year. And Gabrielle, my partner, very much wanted to be here tonight, but she is in another engagement and just could not get out of it tonight. So she, she sends her best wishes as well. Uh, this is perhaps one of the strangest years I think any of us have ever been through. Um, and, but I'm still, in, in spite of the fact that we can't have this group here, I'm so excited to be able to celebrate the arts and to be able to light this tree tonight. And I think this is a symbolic thing for me. I think we need more light in this time of a fairly dark year that we've had. And so I think the symbolic nature of this is really important to me as well. Um, this year is one that, although it's been difficult, um, I think there's a lot to celebrate. I like to celebrate the fact that I'm actually here. I'm honored to be the president of the university. It's something that I've uh, aspired to for a while, and I couldn't be happier to be in any other place than Wyoming right now. I just, I love it here, and so does Gabrielle. I'm also very excited that we've almost gotten through this year, and that uh, a new year is coming, and that we have friends, and we have family, and we have colleagues, uh, that it, particularly for me, I have many new friends and new colleagues here at the university and I'd like, I'd like to also celebrate that. So um, let me say a few words about the arts and about the museum itself. So uh, Gabrielle and I both love the arts. I come from an artistic family. Somehow it, it sort of 
passed me by, but it made me appreciate it. My uncle was a sculptor. My daughter trained to be an opera singer, which, uh, which I'm very, very proud of. Uh, and uh, one of my favorite scientific collaborations is actually with an artist, uh, Professor Donna Cox at, at the University of Illinois, who has just uh, been an inspiration to me and all the work that she's done, uh, and particularly working with scientists. So there's always something, some sense of art in, in the work that I do, and I love to work with people who can help me uh, find that. We were also members of the Chicago Art Institute when we lived in Illinois, which is a fantastic uh, place to go, a world center for impressionist uh, paintings and art and, and so on. And we were there many, many times and just a fantastic event. So it, uh, I have not yet had a chance to get through uh, the, the exhibits here, but I can't wait to do so. In fact, we were just talking about uh, finding time to do that. Uh, but I'm very proud that some of my, that my own science work has actually ended up in some museums as well, working with some artists, and not, not Donna and some others. So anyway, I just really, really appreciate this. Um, let me say a few words about museums and the arts generally. They help remind us of who we are. They help remind us of what we're capable of. And particularly, uh, if you look around this room, it's just, it's very, very inspiring, even with a small fraction of what's here. So I find it inspiring, and I know those of you who are or members or who are on this, uh, on this video will feel the same way. Um, they also teach us. They teach us many things, uh, in, in particularly with instructional um, activities. And so I, I think there's something like 20 million instructional hours of material that are available through work with museums across the country. And that's just really fabulous to know that it's reaching out to teachers and providing uh, activities for students and, and really helping to bring the arts across the world and into our homes through events like this. What's little known, I think, is that the arts contribute about a trillion dollars annually to the economy. So that's, that's very, very important uh, to, to think about. It's really helping, it's a major contributor to our economy, which is something as a, formerly as the Vice President for Economic Development at the University of Illinois, I think a lot about the importance of the university driving the economy, but it's not just about technology, it's also about the creative economy and about finding ways to bring particularly the arts and humanities in that help enrich our lives. It's about 5% of the economy of the state of Wyoming. So often when you think about the arts, you think about, uh, or you think about the economy in Wyoming, you think about extraction and energy and uh, agriculture and things like that. But it's actually, a, it's a major contributor to the, the economy of the state. So I would like to do what I can as uh, the president to help support not only the arts, but the way they contribute to our state in terms of its vitality and also to the, uh, to the importance of the economy, helping to drive the creative economy. So we're already beginning to have conversations about this as we think about the pillars that I've been defining for the university with our faculty and staff here, particularly around uh, the university becoming more entrepreneurial and more, uh, more interdisciplinary. I think the arts plays a major role in that. So um, as part of the strategic planning exercise that we have coming, so I look forward to working with you on that. But meanwhile, let me just say, uh, I, I urge you to have a safe, particularly safe and restful season. It's been a stressful year. People have been working very, very hard. And somehow, even if you're able to work from your pajamas at home, it's just somehow it just really, it, it adds up over time. And I know people are really stressed. So please have a, a safe and, uh, and restful holiday. Enjoy time with your families and with your friends. And, uh, and I would like to wish you all a happy season coming up. So, is it time to light the tree? By the way, I lived in a house when I was a kid that had very high ceilings and we always had humongous trees and this one really inspires me. So here we go. Well, thank you very much. I hope to see you in person. Wonderful. Thank you so much, President Seidel and Director Crawford for giving us a warm welcome this evening. Uh, the rest of our program is celebrating the arts in Albany County, and it is my great pleasure to introduce to you the project that Nicole mentioned from the Global Engagement Office and our sister province in Shanxi, China. So we'll be showing some videos this evening of the work that they're doing. 
as well as some performances tonight by the String Academy of Wyoming, artwork from Laramie Middle School, Laramie High School, as well as uh, Whiting High School here in Laramie. So please enjoy the program this evening. Don't forget you can bid on the ornaments on our Facebook page. I'll be posting a link in the chat tonight. And if you want to comment, please feel free to post comments in the chats, both on Facebook Live, here in the webinar, and other places. Um, we're so happy to have you all joining us tonight. Um, additionally, you can join us on Saturday for another afternoon of festive art and music performances. Um, it will be so great to have you. So without further ado, please help me in thanking all the students for participating, all the teachers in Albany County, and enjoy the wonderful art this evening and music as well. I'll come back at the end of the performances tonight, so I'll see you soon.
Hello, everyone. Thank you for being here tonight. We hope you had a great time viewing all of the artwork from Albany County students, art students, and the String Academy. Uh, we hope that you join us on Saturday. We've got some fun art making activities planned. Don't forget our ornament auction on Facebook will run through Saturday afternoon. Highest bidder wins. There's lots of great ornaments to choose from. Uh, knitted things from the Fiber Guild. There's leather work, there's burned wood, uh, all sorts of fun things to look at and bid on. All of the proceeds support arts education. So half will go to the art education programs in Albany County School District number one and half will come here to our art education programs at the art museum. Um, and I just want to say thank you so much for joining us. Thank you all the students, all of the teachers. Without teachers, our students wouldn't be here. Um, and later down the world, down the road, we wouldn't have generations of art supporters. I also want to say, let us be reminded of our resiliency. And I encourage all of you to really unite in this time through the collective power of the arts. Um, I think as President Seidel said, these dark months of winter, uh, it gets dark at five o'clock here in Wyoming and other places if you're higher in uh, latitude, but we've also had some really challenging times. The arts really do have the power to heal. So we encourage you to be creative, pick up a paintbrush, pick up an instrument, whatever that means to you. And also the participating and contributing to the arts economy really benefits our collective financial, social, and psychological well-being. So thank you all for joining us this evening for our first virtual Happy Holidays Laramie, our 28th annual. Join us again on Saturday. We'll be doing the same YouTube Live, Facebook Live, and here on the webinar. If you're interested in participating in the Family Saturday events, we've got a few art kits available starting tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock outside the museum doors. Those are first come, first serve, so you're welcome to come and pick those up. If you're not in Laramie but would like to participate, you can still do that. It's an activity that um, you can do a little scavenger hunt from your house and pick up materials as well. Everything tonight will be recorded or has been recorded will be posted to our YouTube channel. So if you missed anything tonight, feel free to take a look then or later when you have a chance. Um, again, join us for the rest of the celebration um, and remember to support your neighbors wherever and whenever you can and uh, enjoy the creative spirit of Laramie and Albany County and all of Wyoming and beyond. Uh, we're blessed to be in a really remarkable community, both local and abroad. So thank you for joining us. Have a great night, everyone.